Welcome to the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships here in snowy and cold but very beautiful Tartu, Estonia. We have the 69 kilo women in the A group and the 105 kilo men A groups as well, lifting back to back. My name's Joe Whiteley. I'm here all week with Martin Flett, and Martin, this promises to be a phenomenal session. Oh, this is one of the ones I was uh, looking forward to even before I arrived. Close battles in both classes, and of course, uh, Novo Pismeni versus Norlin 3 at the Europeans, and it promises to be spectacular. But before that, we've got the 69s. And that's going to be a great competition as well. Should just say one thing, Joe. Uh, Krikishvili is already sitting on 490. And that's fourth place in prognosis. And that's what they've all got to come past if they want a medal from the B group. Well, I think uh, a lot of these ladies have done well north of 500 in the past. But uh, we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, we've brought all the scores from the B group forward to this session. So we'll keep an eye on how Nino Trikishvili sits as we get through the placings. The clock's ticking down now, and we are going to kick off with the A group for the 69 kilo class. You have the running order on. You had the running order on your screen just then. But we're going to kick off with Barbara Yoskova, Czechia. She's going to open her account with 140 kilos as the clock ticks down and the spotters and loaders load the bar. There she is waiting to come out. Saw some great lifting in the B group this morning and it really demonstrates how the standard of classic powerlifting has risen in Europe and beyond in the past few years, especially in the women's classes. Barbara Yoskova, 147.5. Lovely and deep for an opener. Nice and easy there for Yoskova. Three wide lights. Always good to get off to a flying start. And next out we have Signa Belden. Bars loaded, 160 kilos for Belden of Norway. She was the bronze medalist last year in Poland. Squatted 177.5 at that competition. She's opening with 160 today. That was a very aggressive, determined squad to get her campaign underway. Referees are keeping us in suspense. Uh, flags, if we can, please. So we're going to switch to flags. Three white lights. And it's three white flags. 162.5 on the bar now. Next out is Mia Schutt, Denmark, looking for 162 and a half. Lifted in Malta earlier this year. Squatted 172.5 at that competition. Really nice. And three white lights. Lights are working again. Hopefully any glitches have been resolved. Cheddar, 
Now here is the first of two British lifters in this group. We have Tasmin Campbell and Annie Nelson, and these two have been going head to head for quite some time now. Nelson has the bigger squat, Campbell has the bigger bench and deadlift. This is 165. That looks good. And three white lights. And the two British lifters, who incidentally are both Scottish lifters as well, uh, are only separated by two and a half kilos at the moment on prognosis. And we've seen this at their last few competitions. They had a real head to head battle at the British. And again, it was, uh, I think it was side on body weight at that competition. But here is Clara Perrault, France, for 172 and a half. She was junior world champion last year. She finished on the podium. I think she was bronze medalist in Malta in the open class. Still got a year or so in the juniors. Holds many junior world records. So smooth. On three white lights. That was a great opening squat. Still have a few more to come out. These <laughs> we're getting into huge weights already, and these are just openers. And there is Marta Chenna coming out for 180. She's been here for a few days. She is looking strong and confident. European champion in 21. She was silver medalist to Ivana Horner last year. Now, I think that's the fastest opener we've seen, Martin. Oh, it's a fantastic squad. So we've got two Norwegians, two French and two British in this group. Here is our second French lifter, Pauline Lebrun, for 180. I'm not sure I've seen her lift before. Fasterus was her last Europeans. But she is here with one of the highest squat openers. Oh, it's a lovely squat again. Three wide lights. And we still have one squat remaining. Next out is Annie Nelson, as you rightly say, Martin, Scottish lifter. And av after what you said about only being separated on body weight, I've had a very quick look at the scoreboard. And if that happens again, Campbell is the lighter lifter today. Annie went up from the 63s last year. And that's when we started this head-to-head uh, -head battle with Tasmin Campbell. She has the British record in squat. This is 182.5. Oh, that's a great squad as well. Three white lights. Good lift. Nelson. Three white lights. So that concludes the first round. Everyone's got one in. Beautiful. 155. And as the speaker have said, everyone is good lift in the first round. Everyone is on their way to making a total. 
So after the first round, Annie Nelson leads the way on one eighty two and a half, and we have Pauline Leprat and Marta Chenna both on one eighty. And eight minutes in, we are already in the second round. And this is Babora Yuskova, Czechia for one fifty five. Now we had a yellow card from the side referee. I'm just trying to think what that could be on squat. Possibly elbow and thigh, but if it was the other side, it's difficult to see. No, her elbows are miles no. from her legs. No. But I don't think she jumped to command. So, as, as you said before, Martin, the yellow flag failure. Julia's overruled. overruled. They've seen something that we clearly didn't see. They've overruled on depth. It was yellow, though. No, but look, you, you can see on the jury overall that little coloured mark. Okay. That signifies the colour failure. They've overruled on depth. Meanwhile, we have Mia Schutt Irving from Denmark for 170. So maybe the referee hit the wrong button and gave a yellow when he, he meant to give a red. Looks good. Yeah, we weren't looking at depth, were we, when we saw the yellow? No, we were looking around for every, every other failure. So every failure is has a colour code in squats. Red card is always for depth. Blue card is for downward movement of the bar or lockout. Yellow card is everything else. Signa Belden, 170. Well, I'm seeing another jury overrule. It was three white lights, wasn't it? Yeah. I think that's a mistake. You cannot overturn three white lights. Oh, that looked strong again. Yeah, I think that's just a flashback to the previous overrule. We're having a bit of a malfunction with the uh, jury's system. So we've gone to flags. Well, it's two to one, white. And next out here is Tasmin Campbell. She lists her personal best as 175, and this is 175. So if she can get this on the board. In fact, the yep, she did 175 at the British. So if she can get this on the board, we will see her get into PB territory. Oh, that's a good squad. And it's two to one two again to one on the flags. Centre referee showed a red. So this is Clara Perrault, France, for 180 kilos. Junior lifter, she is more than capable of holding her own in the open. Not just a junior, she's got a couple more years as a junior. Where will she be then? Right at the top, if this is anything to judge by. She squatted 182 in Malta in June and also again in her French nationals. But that's looking close to the limit. Three white flags. 
Tatiana, Norway. Two followed by Lebra and Nelson. Last three legs in round two. The weight on the bar is 190 kilos and it is loaded. Here's Marta Chenna. She's squatted north of 190 a few times now. Hit 192 in Malta, 192.5. look good have to work a bit but of course you have to work a bit these are Blue big weights and we might see her go up to a pb attempt of 195 on her next certainly looks like she's got some headroom and we have our second french lifter pauline le bras france for <coughs> 190 excuse me She hit this weight at French Nationals back in September. But it's a different story doing it on the international platform. Or maybe it isn't. Oh, that looked really easy. And three wide lines. Can't believe we're at the end of the second round already. It's engrossing stuff. Great Britain. And it's running fast. Is it eight, nine lifters we have in this class? Nine, I think. It's eight. Eight. So here's Annie Nelson for 195. The unmistakable sound of support from Dylan Nelson from the side. Now, her British record is 190. So this is a big jump up to 195. Must be feeling good today. Oh, boy. Will we see 200 fall today? Three white lights. Wow. Since she's gone up to 69, her squat has been flying. So we'll take a quick look at the standings after the second round. Annie Nelson out in front, Le Bras and Chenna both on 190 behind. Le Bras is the lighter lifter. And already third round of squats and Bobora Yoskova is going to attempt again the 155 she missed last time out. Yeah, this was the overturn and this is the only no lift of the whole flight so far. That looked good to me. So it's a two to one decision again. We have a three man jury here today and if they all agree, they can overturn any two to one lifts. Well, they're looking at it. I'll keep an eye on them. But as we've seen this week, the jury can give as well as taking away. I don't think they're going to do anything with that. Here's Mia Schutt, Denmark, 175 on the bar. It was a tough one, but it's her third squat. She doesn't need to add any more kilos good to lift, the bar. Blue card fairly from the center ref. So let's just take a look at the lockout. 
Certainly no downward movement. The knees may have been slightly soft. Europe. European Masters won record for Signa Belda in Norway. This currently belongs to Neve Savage of Ireland at 172 and a half. Of course, you can't chip a Masters record in an open competition. Oh, that was a great looking lift. She's such a fierce lifter. Turned down on depth by the centre referee, but both sides called it good. We were just uh, pausing a moment to take a look at the jury, but they're fine. And here is Tasmin Campbell. 177.5 on the bar for a small PB. She's just trying to hang on in the squat, isn't she? And she'll come into her own in the other lifts. There's Sabrina Downs coaching her, who became a Cat 2 referee earlier this week. Battled that up to the top. Has she got her PB? Yes, she has. Two to one. Depth call again from the centre referee. And we have four squats remaining. Clara Perrault has gone up two and a half kilos to 182 and a half. Now, this won't get her on the squat podium, amazingly. Sitting in fourth place. And it's an overrule in Campbell's lift. Uh, that will be a no lift for Campbell in the third round. Jury overrule. Yeah, it did look borderline. Yeah, she's only lost two and a half yeah. kilos, though. Oh, that's a great lift. And three white lights. Jury cannot overturn three white lights. So we have the squat podium sitters coming out next. Currently, Jenna is behind Lebrun, who's behind Nelson, but will those positions change now? 195 to take Marta Jenna to the squat gold position for the moment. And if it comes into it, Lebra is lighter. So Marta needs to do her job to get in front and then it's everyone else's job to get past her. I think she's done her bit. <laughs> I think she has. No, oh, no, no, not deep enough. And it's uh, reds from all three. Two of them are red reds and one of them is a yellow red. This is for provisional squat gold. Bar is loaded. 195 kilos So that's a shame. Chenna does not go past. She will take the squat bronze. And here is Pauline Lupra. Guaranteed silver, but of course she wants the gold. And this to go into gold medal position. And only Annie Nelson doing something she's never done before would take the gold medal away. 195 kilos on the bar. Oh, it's a fantastic squat. She looks like she can't believe it. Three wide lights. Three wide lights. Certainly pleased with that. How 
So that put Lebrun up in gold medal position. Five However, loads. Annie Nelson is about to try to join the 200 kilo club. Wow, now her 195 was a PB. This is to push it up to the Magic 200 and to take squat gold. This will be a British record too. She makes step, she's bringing, oh yes, that and looks good. Done it. That looks good. Three white lights. Annie Nelson takes his squat gold with a new British record okay, and that landmark number, 200 kilos. What a fabulous competition they've given us. So there's the confirmation. Annie Nelson takes the gold with 200. Lebrun takes the silver with 195. Chenna the bronze, 190. And we need a break now, but we can't have a break <laughs> because now it's the 105 A group and uh, the jury has overruled, I'm just saying. Oh, or, really? or was that uh, a test? I'm not certain, to be honest. I, I was looking away from the screen. It I didn't just see came what up, you Julie saw. And okay, we will have to take a look at that when we get through to the bench. It may just have been a test before the 105s gets underway. Well, I don't know what is going on here. First out is Anatoly Novopismeni on 175 kilos. Now, we saw him earlier today. He seemed, um, he seemed fine, happy, strong, I mean, confident. I'd expect him to open round about double this weight. Yeah. Something has, has obviously happened. Maybe he's going to take a big jump now. Because he has the world record at 360. Or is it 365 now? Well, I think we'll just have to wait and see what's going on here. Perhaps the second round, perhaps there's a hint of an injury and he just wanted to come out and test it on the platform, but I guess you can do that in the warm-up room. This really changes everything. We expected Norris Meni to be out there in the lead with Norling chasing. Yeah, this was going to be the closest battle of the week. And he scratched his next two squats. So we must be seeing some kind of injury that he's picked up in warm-up, which is... Um, oh, oh, what a shame. really is. It's a shame for him. It's a shame for us, too. This is Strumsvik. <laughs> Looks good. I Fast. Mean, I was expecting that Nova Pismeni hit his numbers sorry, today. No I said no we may have four people attempting 400. And I was thinking that uh, Norlin might have to be one of them if he wanted to get over the last deadlift, but that has gone. Sorry, while we were talking about that, my apologies. It was three reds for the previous lifter. Depth. That was Stromsvik, and they were all on depth, so we'll, he will have to take that again. What a dramatic start to yeah, the competition. Not anything we'd want no, to see. No, no, no. And this is Victor Samuelson from Iceland. Familiar face. 262.5 on the bar. Squatted 290 in Malta in June. Oh, that was very smooth. Three wide lights. Now Tony Johannesson from Norway. Johannesson Amengal, 285 kilos. There's like a stunned hush around the, yeah. the crowd because we all came for this battle. Absolutely, and there's also concern for the lifter. We don't know yes. quite what's gone wrong. But also disappointment that we won't get that, uh, that brilliant fight at the end. Yeah.
Johansson squatted 290 in Malta, and he's uh, only with 285 today, so training must have gone very well. What it does do, of course, is give people the opportunity to battle on a platform position that they must have thought was probably out of their range. Now, Timo Jacobi from Germany, and he is opening on 290. Five kilos. First international competition. Nominated with a three twelve and a half kilo squat. Just clipped the rack as he walked out, knocked him a little bit off balance, but he recovered well. Oh, it's a great squad. Yeah, it's a lot of weight to have on your back if you lose a little bit of balance. Doesn't take much, does it? And three wide lights. Good lift, Jacobi. 300 on the bar now. Bob van der Bogart. Now, Bob van den Bogart from the Netherlands. Had a really good week so far. 300 kilos to start his campaign. Another of my plane companions last Sunday. Okay. Uh, Pardeep just there was on my plane. looks good and to put a little bit of effort in to bring that that up to the top but it was never in any doubt next up Emil Norlin Sweden Junior world champion in Helsingborg in 2019, open world champion in Sun City in 2022. And European champion at the last two outings. No, I'm not sure of the last two, but certainly two of the last three. Yep, European champion in 22, 21 and 19. Great squad, plenty more there. Three white lights and a good lift for Dolly. Looking happy and confident under the bar there. On the bar now for ben Pape, and last out is Ben Pape, good Great Britain. Wilson, get ready. Ben's taking 315 kilos. Bars loaded, 315 kilos, Pape, Great Britain. Now the most he's done on the platform so far is 335 at the British in March. Hit 3.30 in Malta. Well, if he's following Norlin, he has a chance of squat gold, I guess, because he just goes two and a half kilos more. Yeah, he took the squat silver in Malta. Followed it up with a deadlift bronze. In fact, he needs to match Norlin. He's marginally lighter body weight. And that was a really Three convincing nice opener from in. Ben. He's been improving fast, still looking for his first overall podium. Could be in with a chance today. And there we have it at the end of the first round. Ben Pape leads 315. Eric Mata from the B group, 312 and a half. And Norlin third on 310. And he will come past Mata in the second round. I've just been handed a note that said uh, Noah Pismeni injured himself in warm-up. Oh, what a shame. And I'm sure the one that regrets it more than anyone else will be Norlin, 
because he will have been looking forward to the battle and he will have been preparing and training for the battle. But this is Strumsvik. Missed it on depth last time. Needs to go lower. Oh, he certainly did. He smiles. It, it looks just as easy. Three wide lights. Everyone's on the board. Now, Victor Samuelson, a really easy looking 262.5 for his opener. Another 10 kilos on the bar. See him on the equipped platform as much as the classic. In fact, he seems to have switched his focus since Dubai in 2019. He's been lifting mainly raw. It's hard to compete at a high level in both, although we have a few people that do. That looks good. Just looking ahead, Pape has gone 330 for his second, Norlin 320. This is Johannesson from Norway. Big jump from 285 to 300. Well, I guess not a huge jump with this body weight. Oh, just. He got it, but we have to question how much he's got left for his third. Pity you couldn't do 301. Yes. <laughs> Now, Timo Jacobi from Germany is up next. 312.5 kilos. And this is so close, this would jump him from seventh to second. Electing to lift with one rack in in order to prevent the clipping of the rack with the plates. It's a lovely squad. Yeah, nice and deep, nice and fast. He got one red though from the far oh, side. Well for maybe it wasn't nice and deep. It was on the opposite side we were looking at, so maybe he sinks into one hip more. Oh, it still looks okay. Now Bob Van den Bogard, second attempt, 315 kilos, which will take him from seventh to first place with two lifters to follow. And the Dutch team have been going from strength to strength the last couple of years. Absolutely. Oh, that's a great battle. It's a bit like a third, though. Very much so. Gets a red call from the centre referee. My initial reaction, it was good. But we have a different view, of course. Now, Emil Norling. 320. Ah, the jury yep. has overruled. The lift of Bogard, Van der Bogard. That is a no lift for the lifter from the Netherlands. So 
So Emil well below his PB, well below what he probably thought he was going to have to do today. The Norlin smile yeah, at, the at the top. Yeah, little nod at the top. Rewind lights and a good lift for Norlin. 3.30 on the bar now, Ben Page, Blake Ritter, last lift in round two. Well, we've got his PB is 3.30, but did you say he'd done 3.35 since then, Joe? Emil? No, Ben Page. Oh, excuse me. I can't remember, to be honest. I think he said he may have done 3.35 with the British. Bar yes, that sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. He did 3.30 in Malta, 3.35 at the British earlier in the year. Well, Norlin's put in 327 for his third round, so this is for Squad Gold. Ah, oh, fantastic lifting from Ben. He gets a blue from the center referee. So there's definitely no downward movement, so that must be for lockout. It's so got to be for knees. It's got to be. Knees. Was the right one slightly soft? I, I couldn't see from where I was. Well. And there is the result at the end of the second round. Pape on 3.30 is the gold medalist because Norlin on 3.20 has gone 3.27.5 for his third. And this is Strumsvik from Norway taking 2.67.5. And uh, just to finish that off, third place is Jacobi from Germany on 3.12.5, beating Eric Mata to the bronze medal on body weight. to really work but it looks good what do I know yeah just a little bit shy on depth unfortunately now Victor Samuels in Iceland 287.5 kilos the graphic shows you what position he's lifting for, and in this case, he's lifting to move from 12th to 9th place in the squad. The lower bar tells you what he's already done, and the yellow figure is his total to date. And you can also see the clock. I'm not sure what he's waiting for. So there's a query about the attempt that was put in. Yeah, so it, I think it was a handwriting problem. So it was, should be 282.5, not 287.5. And I really do, I did the table for a while in, in Lithuania uh, a couple of weeks ago. And you'd think coaches would be more clear in what they wrote. Yeah, but the whole idea of writing is to stop arguments that you've got the record. Yeah. But they're very rushed. They're trying to look after their lifter and get the of attempts course. in. So this is Victor Samuel, Iceland, taking 282.5 kilos to move from 12th to 11th place. 10 kilo jump only moves you one place. Wow. Three wide lights, good lift for Samuelson. Third lift was attempt selection was right on the money there. Absolutely. <laughs> Not one more kilo would have gone. Tony Johannesson, Amangal, Norway, 305 kilos. He was right at his limit on the 300 or he so it was. seemed. He was. This is five kilos more. Will it prove to be five kilos too far? And remember, only eight in the flight, nine in this case, although Nova Pazmenyi's 
pulled out, but so it's a quick turnaround is the point I make. Oh wow. Nice. Thought that well. Three wide lights. Uh, Bob Van den Bogard got the lift two to one. Uh, the lift was overturned by the jury, so he comes out to attempt 315 kilos again. Still Maris from yesterday, or was it this morning? Yesterday, wasn't it? And you see this in powerlifting all the time. People come off the platform and they're refereeing, coaching, helping their friends. Yeah, Maris led Group B yesterday in the 93s. <laughs> wow, no, what a he fighter. gave it all in the second round, didn't he? You can't say he didn't try. Now, Timo Jacobi from Germany. 322.5 kilos. This is to move past Norlin into silver medal position, but remember Norlin will come back with 327.5. So Jacobi guaranteed a squat medal. It will be decided firstly by what he does and secondly by how Norlin responds. Well, with Nova Pismeni out of the running, I would say this is Norlings to lose. But in powerlifting, we've seen many times lifters snatch disaster from the very jaws of victory. Oh, that's a great squat. Three wide lights. So that moves him into silver medal position. But uh, Emil Norlin will come out to take that silver medal position back. Just looking at projected, I know we've got a long way to go yet, but uh, Norlin is nearly 50 kilos in the lead. That was much harder work than I expected. <laughs> Bit of a chagrin smile at the wow. top there. <laughs> He's such a character on the platform. I think I thought he'd lost it about here. But he recovered well. He's been um, he's been a little bit ill recently. He's so just recovering from this nasty cold that seems to be all over Europe. Ben Pape to equal his personal best. He is already the squad gold medalist to build kilos. Every good lift helps his quest for overall silver. Simon Norlin doesn't beat himself. Now, nice. Tight knees, and that should be good. Great work for Ben Pape. Three wide lights. Well, what a great session, but also such a dramatic session. And to summarize very quickly, Ben Pape, Great Britain, takes gold with 335 kilos. Emil, Emil Norlin of Sweden takes silver with 327.5. Jacobi from Germany takes the bronze with 322.5 and Anatoly Novel Pismeni who many expected to take the squad gold 
is right down at the bottom with a token lift of 175 kilos. We'll go to a short break. Join us again in about nine minutes' time for the bench press.
Welcome back to the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships from Tartu, Estonia. We have the 69 kilo A group and the 105 kilo A group lifting back to back. And we just have a quick update here. We had some, our information was slightly wrong. Nova Pismeni did not injure himself in warm up. That was Aaron Hegedus, the Hungarian lifter. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened, but there was an accident and he injured himself and didn't come out at all. Nova Pismeni came into the competition injured. So he hurt himself a couple of weeks ago, but he's hoping to do a big bench here today. So we have the ladies first, and here was the squat results. Annie Nelson, new British record, and a 200 squat for the gold. Pauline Lebrun with 195 for the silver. Chenna, 190, the bronze. And everything to play for. The prognosis in this group is so close. First lifter out is Mia Schutt from Denmark with 82 and a half. And we can see some massive bench openers coming up. Yeah, the European Open record is 121.5 kilos. I half expect that to be broken today. That was set in Hungary not very long ago at all by Fanny Savella, Finland. But this is Mia Schutt, Denmark. Nice easy opener. Says the commentator praying there wasn't something we, <laughs> we didn't see, which is often the case in bench, of course. Yeah, often we think that was a lovely bench press and then we get uh, two side referees giving red cards. Of course, there's a lot we can't see from the front if there was movement of the feet or the butt lifted off the bench. Here's Pauline Lebrun. She had a huge squat day today, opening her bench with 92 and a half. 92 and a half and she's second out. Wow, very easy. Yeah, when I started lifting, um, I guess it's 10 years ago now, 100 kilo bench for a lady raw was something very special. And now it wouldn't get you near the podium. Babora Yoskova, Czechia. She's opening. We're already into triple digits. She's opening with 100 kilos. This her PB is 106.5. And Chenner, when the time comes, will be opening one and a half kilos below the European record. Yoskova finished on 100 in Malta in June, opening with it here. Nice and smooth. Obviously trained on since Malta, as they say. Here's Signa Belden. She's opening on the same weight, 100 kilos. Great bench press. Three white lines, good lift, Belden. One ten on the bar now. Annie Nelson, Great Britain. Pero, Campbell, Chenna, get ready. Annie Nelson will be out next. As we've said, we've had uh, we've seen the two British lifters in this class go round and round. Sometimes Nelson's on top, sometimes Campbell. But Annie Nelson has always had the biggest squat, Campbell the bigger bench in deadlift. These two are 
battling for podium positions. And also battling against Chenna for the overall title and from Cam from Nelson's point of view, absolutely vital. Not that she beats Chenna, but that she doesn't lose ground to her. She's uh, just got to hang on. Now this is a huge opener for Rani Nelson. This is her competition PB. Wow, that was easy. Three white lights, good lift, Annie Nelson. What, 12.5 on the bar now? Cloud Very nonchalant ball. about it all. <laughs> Campbell, Cheddar, get ready. Last three lifts in round one. Barlow, That's a great bench. What, 12.5 kilos, Perro, France. And here we have last year's junior world champion. She wasn't at the Junior Worlds this year. She attended Open Worlds in Malta, taking the bronze medal there. This is 112 and a half. She had a terrible time at the French Nationals. Missing 115 twice, finally getting it on a third. But she made short work of that. That was a great bench again. Just checking out what the junior record is. And I think the European junior record is 121.5. I think it's the same as the Open. Here's Tasmin Campbell, 115. Now let's see how easily this moves. Very easily. Very easily. Wow. Well, her British record is 120. Well, that's got her within six and a half kilos of the European Open record oh with her opener. Uh, we were just, I'd, I'd assumed that was a good lift without seeing the lights. Commentators can do that, speakers can't. So here's Marta Chenna, Norway. Massive bench presser, opening with 120. One and a half kilos below the European Open record with her opening attempt. Now, the most we've seen her do on the platform is 123, so this is right up against it. Looks good. Clip the right rack very slightly, that's no reason for fail. Well, she has to go up a minimum of two and a half kilos, so she has to attempt yes. the European <laughs> record next time. And as we go through into the second round of bench, Chenna is leading the way on 120, Campbell on 115, Perrault right behind on 112. Here's Mia Schutt, 87 and a half kilos on the bar. I can tell you Nelson's only gone up two and a half kilos. And Kenna has gone 125.5, so she's using the chip. Yeah, that can come in really handy. What we mean by the chip is the half kilo increment you can use if it's a record. You can chip European records at a European and world records at a world. Obviously, you can chip the world records at the Europeans as well. Had to work. Three white lights. But three white lights. A little bit of work to do through the sticking point there, but she got it all the way to the top. Now here's Pauline Lebrun, France for 97 and a half. Five kilos up from her opener. She had a great time on squat. 
did a final squat. It looked like she couldn't believe it herself. She's having a great time on bench as well. But Bora Yoskova, check here. 105 on the bar. Nice looking second attempt. Very nice. And three, three wide lights. Lights. Lid, on the bar now for Belden, Norway. Nelson, Pero, get ready. Next out Hello, is Signa Belden. Belden. She's a, an M1 lifter. She was 40 this year. So just passed into the class. And I can see that the M1 European record is 107.5. This is 105. But of course, if she wanted it, she would have to go 110 next time. Currently belongs to Mary Engberg, Finland. Oh, great. Oh, so what do you think, Martin? You think she'll go 110? Oh, I think she should. Because she's her prognosis hasn't got her on the platform. How many opportunities do you get to break an international record? I mean, she's not at her limit, is she? No, absolutely not. So I personally, yes. I think 107 is definitely safe. 110 is on the cards, though. Uh, Annie Nelson, minimum in command. Now, was her opener so difficult? Or maybe she's just one of those lifters that likes to take close attempts? I think, so. I think her, her first one was good. No suggestion she was at her limit, but I guess the thinking is she's got two more lifts to go. If she's got five more in her, two and a half at a time rather than throw anything away. Just looking down at her lifting record, and she habitually takes a five kilo jump, then a two and a half. So maybe she felt it was heavier than she expected. And I think it was the right call. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not sure. There's another two and a half there. That was a great call. I think the other thing, maybe she's done better than she expected in the squat, so she's got something to play with. Clara Perrault, 117.5 on the bar. And she's in the battle for bench medals. Made 112 and a half look relatively easy. Annie Nelson really challenging at the front here, just looking across to projected totals. Only three kilos behind Chenna. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, and I think from Nelson's point of view, she didn't want to throw away two and a half yeah. chasing five. And here's Tasmin Campbell for 120. Only one and a half kilos below the European record. But she may be five and a half kilos below it in about 90 seconds time. This matches her own British record. Well, let's see if she gets it, of course, but also try and form a judgment of how much more might be there. Not much more, I no. think. 
It's a great lift. 120 is huge in the 69s. Of course, the next year's British, she could chip that record. Can't chip a national record here. Well, she has to go 122.5 next yep. time, and that would be an attempt on the British record. So. She is in the zone today, Marty Chenna. You're not allowed to look that happy and smiley <laughs> going out for a record lift. It's got to be all anger and angst and After screams and yells. After the difficulties she's had at, uh, in Sun City in particular and at other comps as well, it is great to see her look so confident and happy on the platform. One twenty five point five on the bar. One twenty was relatively easy. What will the extra five and a half kilos do? Well, they do something, but not enough to stop her. And three wide lights. <laughs> Wow, new European record. Not sure much more is there. No, but I does it matter? I, I'm not sure it does, but she's got Annie Nelson right behind. Absolutely. I, th I expect her to come out for 127 and a half, maybe 128 if she wants to maintain that chip. So there we go, Marta Chenna, new European record with 125.5. Tasmin Campbell, 120. Clara Perrault with 117 and a half. And this is moving so quickly, we already have Mia Shutt on the platform for 90. If she goes for the next chip, I'm not sure it's there. But I guess she could put another kilo on if she wanted to. I guess she could. She's actually gone for 128. I, I agree. I think it's a bit of an ask. But it maintains that half kilo chip. Not quite there today for Shut. Leaves it with the best of 87 and a half. Pauline Libra, France, is out next for 102.5. Two five kilo jumps. The bench uses a lot of the smaller muscles, which exhaust a lot faster. So you suddenly hit a wall. And there is the wall. There it was. It's easy to be wise after the event and say that two and a half would have been the right choice. But we were thinking it beforehand. But then her first five kilo jump looked really good, but... Waiting in the wings, we have Barbara Yoskova, Czechia, who has taken the min minimum increment, two and a half kilos. This is battle gets it on the board Masters 1 record is currently 107.5. Which is... Oh, yes, of course. I thought she got it on her second, but yes. We were talking about it on her second. She didn't do it. But 
has she got the five kilos? Or will the lure of the record rob her of the 2.5 kilos that was surely there for the taking? She's not covering the rings. That's well spotted. I We had a side angle from the camera though. I'm not sure that would have been visible from the front. She got a red. Would that be what the red was for? No, it would be a yellow card infraction if it was rings. Red is for elbow depth. I didn't see a problem with elbow depth. Maybe they hit the wrong colour failure. But grip, like head lift, is something that only the centre referee sees yes. usually. Now, here's Annie Nelson. Big but lift for her. 115. Just hanging on to Jenna. Because if she makes this and Jenna doesn't, the gap closes to almost nothing. It could go the other way, of course. I think they both had very difficult second attempts. Look oh, at that what grind. a fight. And we wait for the refs. Yes, it's three wide light. Boy, oh boy. Is bringing it today. What a fight. Just refuse to give up. No. Claire Perrault is out next for 120. Now, although Marticena broke the open record, 121.5 was still the junior record. But Perrault is taking the view that she is here for the overall. So take what's available. 120 on the bar. And this is a junior lifter, benching 120. And a 21-year-old junior at that that's got another two years as a junior. Wow. Good. Wow, as you say. I think she was right, though. I think 122 and a half, which is what she would have had to take. She can't chip the junior record in an open competition. It would have been a step too far. This will be a silver medal for Campbell. Uh, Tasman Campbell's never been here before, has she? Absolutely not. Tasman Campbell, Great Britain, silver medal on the line. Currently has bronze. I was just wondering whether she's attempted it before. Nope, she has never attempted it before. When she did 120 in Malta, that was the first time she'd attempted that way too. For a new British record and a silver in bench press. Oh, what a grind again. That's a fantastic bench press. Three, white lights. Three whites. So that means Pero takes the bronze, Campbell takes the silver, and we have one bench remaining in the women's flight. And here she is, Marta Chenna for 128. I don't think I've ever seen her looking so confident and focused. A second was tough. Prognosis incredibly close. If she makes this, she will be five and a half kilos ahead on prognosis. If she doesn't, she'll be three kilos ahead. It is that close. It's on its oh, way. I think she's got it. Oh, that's a fantastic lift. 
three white lights. What sensational benching we're seeing today in this 69 class. I did not expect her to get that, to be honest. Her second was so tough. But she's maintained that chip, which I think is close enough. It's going to come in really handy at the end. So that's 128 for the gold and a new European record for Marta Chenna. Tasmin Campbell takes the silver with 122 and a half. Bronze goes to Perro with 120. And with that, we move on to the 105 A group. Can they match the excitement we've just seen? Well, we'll soon find out. First to the bar is Bob van de Bogard from the Netherlands. I'm 57.5 on the bar. Should be good, moved slower than I would expect an opener to move. But three white lines. Three white lines, good lift for Bob. 170 on the bar now. Timo Jacobi, Germany. Samuelson, Tate, get ready. Timo Jacobi from Germany out next. 170 kilos. Bars loaded. 170 kilos, Jacobi, Germany. Timo Jacobi attempting his first international bench. Oh, wow. Now that's what a uh, first bench press should look like. Victor Samuelson up next with 182.5 kilos. Ben Pape will follow on the same weight. For reference, the world open record is 233.5 kilos. And I wonder who that might be. Is it the same as the European? Yeah. Is it Rene Keiki? I was wondering if it was Nova Pismeni. Um But you may be right. Yeah, Reni, it's Rennie Cakey for the European. I think it's the same for yeah, the Yeah, it's the world. same. Right, okay. Yeah, he did that in uh, Vesteros, Sweden. Coach Jordan Jonsson looks on as Victor Samuel takes just over four hundred pounds. Looks Three really good. Ben Pape next up. Same weight on the bar. 182.5 kilos. We think Pape's going to be in a battle with Jacobi for overall silver. That was going to be the battle for bronze, but... Uh, Ben's top bench in competition at the moment is 190. They did it in Malta. I think it might be more than that by the <laughs> time he leaves today. That was a great bench. He's on great form. My favourite lifter because he got me a bolt on Monday when I missed the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a great lad. Here with his family. Now this is Johannesson from Norway. Tony Johannesson Amengal. Had some really good bench uh, squats. We thought he was gone at 300. He came back and got 305. And that's a lovely opening bench as well. Very easy. 
Three white lights. No, Torben Strumsvik. 3 white lights, good lift. Yep, no notes on that one. Emil Norlin, opening a 202.5. Now we have his bench on screen as 211. I don't know, have you got anything beyond that, Joe? No, 211. It's, is it a risky opener so close to your all-time best when you're the only person that can beat you? Maybe. But only Emil knows how strong he is today. He benched 210 at the World Classic earlier this year. Maybe I asked a silly question, but no it seemed there. sensible <laughs> at the time. Great bench. Of course, we know he's a, he's a deadlifter, but uh, these are, this is a big bench for a deadlifter. Uh, but he's one of those annoying people with no weaknesses, yes. good at all three lifts. <laughs> and here is Anatoly Novopismeni. Sadly, he can't fully compete. Uh, but has come here for a big bench, we are told. And he's opening on 215 kilos. He was former European and world record holder, I think, with 231. No? Uh, I think he did that at Ukrainian okay. Nationals, okay. yeah. Uh, amazingly, he's never had the record. Uh, I just had a quick look. But how long wow. will that be true for? Wow, well, we hope he can leave here today with something. And that something may be the world open bench price record. And we're into the second round. And it's uh, Bob van den Bogart again. And he's going to 167.5 kilos. And you can see the standings there. It's Nova Pismenyi from Norlin, from Stromsvik, van Hiesveld from the B group is currently in fourth place. I was just wondering, is Noah Pismeni usually quite that narrow on his bench? Um, yes, I think he is. Okay. He just seemed really awkward with that from the start. How, oh no, went down, didn't read right at the top. He worked so hard for that. I think he also jumped the press command, unless he went on the very P of the press, okay. I think he jumped it. But he also got a red for elbow depth, unless that's just the, the wrong color. Now Timo Jacobi, he's going 177.5. See, the big battle we're going to see today is between Jacobi and Pape for overall silver, unless Norlin does something crazy, which I don't think he will do. I don't think his coach would allow him to do No, I don't think so. That's good. I think that accelerated towards the top. It 
did. You almost needed shock absorbers to stop it. Oh, Bring it back down. Uh, ben Pape, 190 to equal his personal best in the second round. And I think he picked a great international to bring his folks out to. He's having a great day today. Oh, great bench again. Wouldn't expect him to put more than two and a half on it, though. There is three white lights and a good lift for Ben Pape. Next weight on the bar is 192.5 kilos. So well, Jacobi's gone course. up five. I don't know if he might be tempted to match that or just harvest as many kilos as he can. Tough call. It is. I'm just looking to see who's got the bigger deadlift. Certainly, Jacobi has the bigger deadlift opener isn't quite the same thing. No. Yeah, you're right. He's gone two and a half. And this is Samuelson. 192 and a half on the bar for him. Oh, that's a good bench. Three wide lines. Three wide lines. Good lift. Good lift. 200 on the bar now. Tony Johannesson, Norway. Norway. Tony Johannesson from Norway out next. 200 kilos on the bar. Followed it. 200 kilos, Johannesson, Norway. That's good as well. Three white lights, good lift, good lift, Johansson. 205 on the bar. Torment Strunswick, Norway. Norning, double six penny, get ready. So we've got Strunswick on 205 up next, and this would put him from fourth to silver medal position. In bench press with lifters and a round to follow, of course. Good. Three white lights, good lift. Yes, Norling. three white lights. Now Norlin taking a five the kilo jump to Bench price as well. Another five for his third would give him a bench PB. I might take two and a half to be safe. But I think I we think tend to fall in this, these camps, yeah. don't we, Martin? But my thinking is he's so far ahead. It's it's worth um, it's worth a try. Yeah. But you don't coach me almost every time. <laughs> Now, 2 2 5 for Nova Pismeni. Dare I say, halfway between his opener and the world record? Yeah, well, we're hoping to see an attempt, but uh, we'll see how this one moves first. Such a triceps dependent grip. Oh boy. 
Wow, I find that really hard to read. But you know, if he's here for the bench, why would you not have a crack at it? You're getting too much like me for your, <laughs> for your own good. Yeah, why would he have come with an injury? And there we see Nova Pizmeni leads 2-5. Norlin 207.5, Strumsvik 205, and Johannesson, the best of the rest. It just went in, Martin. 234. And Norlin was listening. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone 212 and a half for a new PB. But this is Vanden Bogard. Bogard, my apologies. No. I think he just dropped it at the bottom. He used up so much energy yeah. in those two squats as well. Yeah. And then he had a battle earlier in the bench as well. Now, Timo Jacobi, 182.5. His focus, of course, is not on bench medals. It's on the podium and harvesting as many kilos as he possibly can. Because the more he gets on the bench, the less he will have to put in the bar in third round of deadlifts. I'm just looking at the deadlift openers and there's only one that's under 300 and that one's 290. There's some big lifts coming. Oh, it's a great lift. Uh, ben Pape next, 192.5 for a new personal best. He's so calm. <laughs> Yeah, it's fascinating the different aspects of lifters. We see some coming out roaring like a bull. And others look like they're going for a walk in the park. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Ben. Absolutely fantastic bench pressing. Three white lights, what a day ben he's ben. having. Three white lights and Victor Samuelson is next. We have one, two, three, four, five more lifters. All over 200 kilos, and the final attempt will be a world record one. Victor Samuelson. He's lifting as well as I can remember him lifting in a long time. This will be for a bench, PB. Now, Tony Johannesson Amangual, 205 kilos on the bar. His PB is 209, oh, which we assume is a Norwegian record, Norway. either national or regional. Shame. It was uh, really looked like it was going there. Sorry, that is no lift. No lift, Johannesson. Okay, last three lifts. All of this is about medals. Uh, Torben Strongsvik of Norway. This is to move into the silver medal silver position medal. in the bench With press. Norway. And it's Torben Strongsvik. 207.5 kilos. Nova Fismeni takes bench gold, but. Of course, he wants far more than that.
just stalled. I thought he'd done the hard work. You could see him, his elbows were flaring, yeah. he was moving around, the body tries to recruit whatever it can find to help you get that lift up, to no avail. Now Emil Norlin is the silver medalist in bench. And this is for a PB. Not today, and Coach Whiteley would have beaten me with a two and a half kilo increase. But I think it was worth a try in the circumstances. And as you say, he's so far ahead, it's not really going to hurt him. No, world record attempt from Anatoly Novopismeny. Two hundred and thirty. Four kilos. Of course, he has the squat world record already, the total world record. Can he add the bench? Of course, you get less grind on the narrower grips. Here we go. No. No. It's really hard to grind on the on a narrower grip. It's all on your triceps. He he came, he tried. He got the bench press goal, but he did not get the bench press world record. So just to summarize the bench press, Nova Pismeni takes the gold with two two five. Norlin the silver with two oh seven point five. Stromsvik the bronze with 205 kilos and I'm not sure if we can have a look at subtotal and there we are well that it doesn't make yeah, yeah Norlin leads on 535 kilos I oh know I've Go lost it the bench. I've lost it um, Yeah, so Norlin is in 535 kilos. Pape is in 527.5 kilos. And uh, Jacobi is in third place at the moment with 505 kilos, but a bigger deadlift than Pape. And we will go to a quick break and we'll be back again in, ooh, what, about eight minutes. Join us for the deadlift.
And we are back at the 2023 European Open Classic Powerlifting Championships here in snowy and beautiful Tartu, Estonia. We have the 69 kilo B group, um, excuse me, the A groups, uh, lifting back to back with the 105 kilo A groups. We had the B groups this morning. And here are the results so far. You can see that all the B group have got their deadlifts in, but the A group have still to deadlift. So as we get through the first round of deadlifts, we'll take another look at the standings and see how that pans out. Trikishvili holding the tops at the moment with 490. And Signa Belden is going to lead the way with an opening deadlift of 180. This will give her the European M1 total record. Of course, Masters lifters are quite willing to, quite uh, welcome to lift in the open classes as long as they're good enough. And Signa Belden certainly is. And she's just in her first year as Masters 1. Hit 40 this year. The record currently belongs to Neve Savage. Sorry, Neve. Well, Neve, you'll have to come back and break it again. And we wait. Please. Just waiting for the referee's decision. Three white lights, Three white and it is a new European Masters one total record with two rounds two to go. go. Yeah. Who knows how much she's going to add to that? Here's Babora Yoskova, Czechia, for 185. These are huge openers. Ah, it's a great lift. Nominated with 197. Made that look easy. Three white lights. Nice fast opener there. Next out is Mia Schutt Irving from Denmark. Only with 192.5. Lovely deadly. Three white lights, good lift, short, one nine five on the bar. Pauline Lebra, France, Nelson, Cheddar, get ready. As soon as we are through the first round, we'll take a look at the runners and riders. Bars loaded, one nine five kilos. But for now we have Pauline Lebra from France coming out for one ninety five. <laughs> I'm, I'm astonished by how huge these openers are. But remember, we had a 220 in the B group. Great lift. Three white lights. Good lift. Let's run. 202.5 We have Annie Nelson of Great Britain and more specifically of Scotland opening her deadlift with 202.5. Now she is neck and neck on projected with Clara Perrault who I think put her opener up. Yeah, she did, because Nelson was uh, ahead when we 
on uh, prognosis when we went over to the 105s. And his best lifting competition is 213. Oh, she smashed that. She took the British record with that. In fact, her and Tasmin Campbell broke the British record four times between them in March. Campbell coming out on top. That must have been some competition. It was that. phenomenal. The standard of lifting in British powerlifting at the moment is absolutely incredible. But here is the lady in the lead, Marta Chenna, only with 2.05. Chenet was the European champion in 21 in the 76 kilo class. Made short work of that. Three wide lines, good lift, Chenet. 212.5 on the bar now for Tasman Campbell, Great Britain, Pedro Belden to follow. And that moves Chenet into the lead on total. I think she's getting close to a PB total. I, I don't remember seeing her lift this well before. She's having a great day. But here's Tasmin Campbell, the other one of the Brits we have on the platform today, opening with a massive 2-1-2.5. And making it oh, look easy. Oh, that was so convincing. And she did 2.22 and a half in Malta, but it looks like she might blow past that today. Well, should it come into play, the European Open record, 230.5 kilos. Here is Clara Perrault. She's only with 215. Remember, 21 years of age. She hit 230.5 French nationals. That was in September. Wow. She's made a statement there. We could be on for something a little bit special here this afternoon. So that was the biggest opener in the first round. So we can take a look now at what that means for the competition. Well, here are the deadlift rankings so far. Tricky Shvili still holding on in front with 220. Clara Perot with her opener of 215. Tasmin Campbell to 12 and a half. But here's the table we want to see. Marta Chenna out in front on 523, that handy chip coming useful. Pero and Nelson on 517 and a half. And this is another world total record attempt. Masters one. Uh, European uh, M1. My apologies, European. 187.5 on the bar. Now I don't know if you can see what the deadlift M1 deadlift record is, Martin. 212 and a half. Uh, I think that might be a little bit yeah. out of reach. But three white lights. And she extended the European to M1 total record she set in the first round. But Boris 192 and a half for her second deadlift. One ninety two and a half only good enough for eleventh place at the moment. It was a tough break from the floor as it sometimes is with sumo, but once she got it moving it out it accelerated to lockout. This is Mia Shut Irving looking for two oh two point five. To add some crucial kilos to her total. Bars 
The last six lifters in the second round are all over 200 kilos on the bar. She smiled all the way through she that. Has. I think she smiled all the way through the competition. <laughs> How can you deadlift and smile? I certainly can't. <laughs> Next out, Pauline Lebrun, France for 205. Now that looks to be getting close to the limit. It's a great lift, but yeah, you've got to question how much more is there and add in the fatigue factor as well. Three and it's three lines white lights. Big jump coming up, Joe. Annie Nelson, wow, you're right, Martin. She's added 15 kilos to what was already a huge opener. This is 217 and a half. As we said, the most she's ever done in competition is 213, but she's been strong today. And I think, as you said, moving up from 63 to 69, she's now become a full 69. Yeah, she did really well, though. She weighed in at 68.9 in her first competition as a 69. Oh, and that's, that's a, a great, great deadlift. Isn't it? Well, that puts the cat amongst the pitch, and she now leads in total. Lifters to follow, of course. But the only thing you can do is put yourself out in front and it's everyone else's task to come past you. Next one out to try that is Marta Chenna for 2.20. Now we know she's, well she's a big bencher, she's a big puller as well. As you can see from the screen, this would put her from second back into first place ahead of Nelson. It's going to go down to the last deadlift. Well she did 2.25.5 at Norwegian Nationals back in March. Hit 220 in Malta. They're forcing each other into big jumps. That's a great lift as well. So that puts Chenna back in the lead with two lifters still to pull. Still waiting for the referee's decision. We might have to move to so flags. flags. Three white flags. So that is Chenna back on top. Now, another big jump. At, well, 12 and a half isn't a big jump compared to the last couple, but no. it's still huge. This will be two and a half kilos more than she's ever done on the platform before. And it will get her back ahead of Perrault, with Perrault still to pull. Bars loaded, 225 kilos, Campbell, Great Britain. To move into the lead in the deadlift competition, but more importantly, to move into a podium position that Perrault can push her back out of.
Not oh, quite. Oh, what a shame. Not quite. And she looks yeah. to be right on the limit there. Unfortunately, that's no limit, Tasman. She's feeling great with slipping there, so rather than tear her hands apart. So she didn't sense. move past Perrault. She's there still there sitting in fourth place. And here is Clara Perrault with the biggest deadlift of the second round, 227.5 on the bar. This would take her to 5.30, still in third place, but only two and a half kilos behind Nelson, who in turn is five and a half kilos behind Kiana. Great lift. She's a phenomenal lifter. Again, we wait for the referee's lights as we see the replay. And yeah. that was a good lift for Perrault. So I think waiting for the flags, we missed the uh, rundown. So I can tell you that Chenna, ah, we've got it there. In deadlift, Peiro is leading with 227 and a half, ahead of Trickish Vili, still in the medals with 220, ahead of Chenna on body weight. But more importantly, Chenna is sitting on 538, ahead of Annie Nelson on 532 and a half, Claire Peiro only two and a half kilos behind. Tasmin Campbell starting to slip out of touch now. Yeah, that's where the medals are, those top three. It's just the order that are still to be decided. So here's Signa Belden. She broke the European M1 total record with her opening pull. She extended it with her second. She's looking to add another five here. 92 and a half on the bar. No, she just reached her limit. Still a fantastic day. Yeah, when you when you break the record and then you put more weight on it, you know you're doing well. So she's had a great day. So we had some red lights come up on your screen. Then we've just got the lights working again. So as we move through the third round of deadlift, here's Barbara Yuskova. Czechia for 200. Files loaded, 200 kilos, Yoskova, Czechia. I think we can just call these one at a time, Joe, but I can say that uh, Pero's got a placeholder in of 240.5, which would be a new world open record were she to pull it. I would take Kimberly Wolford's uh, deadlift record. But we think he's a placeholder. And meanwhile, we have Yoskova for 200. <laughs> for a platform PB. Three white lights. And three white lights. And she is delighted. She... Yeah, I'm so engrossed in this competition. I forgot we had men following. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline Lebrun for her final pull at 2.10. And I've, I've not uh, commentated on this lifter before. I've not seen her lift uh, before. I've been very impressed with her today. She was brilliant on squats. In fact, she's been great on everything. Absolutely. What a fighter, and she stayed patient. I, I don't think she rested on her thighs. Oh, wow. Well, let's see those I thought that lift had failed really just short of lockout. No, uh, she got two blues. Do you know, I would go to the jury for that because it looked clean to me. She stayed patient. Maybe it was lockout, maybe it was soft knees rather than resting on the thighs. I'm not a fan of going to the jury over every two-to-one decision, but I think I would have taken a walk for that one. 
So we have Mia Schutt Irving from Denmark for two, 12 and a half, 10 kilo increase from her second. Ten kilos, just a step too far today, unfortunately. So we have Tasmin Campbell next out. She can't make the podium. She's going to repeat the 225 she missed on her second. And we'll move her into silver medal position in deadlift, of course. And we'll give her a new personal best. Lots of incentives to make the lift. She used up so much energy on that second one. This is a big ask. As you suggested, she gave everything. Second attempt, nothing left. Finishes in fourth place. Okay, this is for Annie Nelson, Great Britain. This is provisional deadlift silver, provisional overall gold, with two lifters to follow. One of whom is going for the same weight as her and is slightly lighter. The other of whom is going for a world record for the win. The bar is So here we go, three lifts remain. We have our podium sitters. What order will they be in? Here's Annie Nelson to try to get onto the top step with 225 kilos. Looking really emotional, totally in the zone. Not been near this number before, but this to move into the lead in the European Championships. It's going. Oh, she's locked it out. Wow. So impressed with Annie Nelson and today. And it's good. Two to one. Nelson takes the lead. She did draw a blue card from the centre referee. But that looks okay to me. Yep, it looks okay to jury too. So Annie Nelson leads the European Championships with two lifts remaining. Here's Marta Chenna to take back the top spot with 225. And look at her, she's ready for it. This is for 543. Nelson leads on 540. And even after this, it's not all over. She's hit this weight before. And she has looked great today. Oh, she's pulled it. We what a it. fantastic lift from Jenna. Three white lights. So she is on the top step of the podium for the moment. What a competition. So, as we expected, that was a placeholder for Clara Pero. She has now put in 237.5 to try to take the silver medal, not the gold. So, Marta Chenna is the new European champion. This will also give Pero the Open Junior deadlift and total records. Let's just take a look at who those records belong to right now. I think they're probably hers. So, junior world record attempt on the bar. It is her own world record total. It is her own world record deadlift at 227. 237.5 kilos. Can she swap her bronze medal for a silver and extend her own junior world records? She is the deadlift gold medalist. This to be silver medalist overall at 21 years of age. Oh. 
She's nearly there. She's nearly there. Oh, she's got it and she screams. And we wait for the referees. And it's three white lights. Pero moves up to the second step of the podium, pushes Annie Nelson down to bronze. What a competition. So let's take a look at the standings. With Pero taking the deadlift gold at 237.5, and, and it's a new junior world record too. Chenna takes silver with 227, 225, I'm sorry. And Annie Nelson beating Annie Nelson on body weight. Yeah, it's also a new European open deadlift record. And in the overall, Marta Chenna is your new 2023 European champion. Clara Perrault takes the silver medal. Annie Nelson, what a performance, only beaten for the silver on body weight. What a fantastic, fantastic competition. Hope you enjoyed that at home. And much as we would like to take a breather and take our breaths and perhaps analyze that and talk about it a little more, we can't because the competition just goes on and on. And first out is the injured Anatoly Novopismeni to take 125 kilos. And I don't think we'll see him again. Very much doubted. Such a shame, four-time world champion, world record holder in squat, world record holder in total, didn't quite manage to take the world record bench. Well, Victor Samuelson will be next. They're taking a while to load the bar up from that token opener to Samuels, 290 kilos. And after this, all the rest will begin with a three. That's a good opener. Yeah, nice example of pulling the slack out of the bar first before starting the pull. Now Stromsvik from Norway, opening on 300 kilos. Good deadlift. And three wide lights. Now, Bob Van den Bogard, Netherlands, 305 kilos. If you've been watching and you're wondering why you haven't seen Aaron Hegedus from Hungary, unfortunately, he injured himself in warm up and hasn't made an appearance. Looks good. Very nice, Bob. And three white lights. Yeah, ben Pape, Great Britain, is up next. 315 kilos. Bar is loaded. 315 kilos. Pape. This is a relatively light opener for Ben, expecting to take some big jumps from here. I think get a safe one on the board after what happened to Christian Iandokan yesterday. The British team are probably playing safe. I thank them for giving us more traumatic television <laughs> before telling them not to do it again. 
Oh, it's a great opener great. from Pape. I told easy. Ben this morning to make sure he didn't do the same thing. But there we go. Nice, easy opener on the board. Now, Timo Jacobi, Germany, battling with Pape for overall silver. Taking 320 kilos, it would move him into silver medal position overall. That looked very comfortable as well. The openers seem like uh, light sparring before the big punches that will follow now. Tony Johannesson from Norway, 322.5 kilos. Deadlift as well. Three white lights, good league Anderson, three forty five of the bar. Now Emil Norlin, Emil three Norlin four five for eight eighty. And uh, I think uh, if Norlin yes, gets this we can probably start thinking of it hanging the gold medal round his neck. Camus man in the venue. Bars loaded, 3.45 kilos, Emil Norling, Sweden. Opened with this weight in Malta, went on to pull 3.70. He's done 3.80 at Swedish Nationals this year. The Norlin smile. I love that. I love the cocky smile. He could top. hold yeah. on to that all day long. If you can pick up 380 kilos, you can be as cocky as you like. I was really interested to see where he could go today and if Nova Fismeni was fit and was pushing him. And I was thinking he might need 390 plus on the bar for his third round deadlift to win it. But there we have the deadlift uh, totals after one round. Norlin from Von Hennig from the first group, uh, the B group, uh, Johansson in third, Jakobi fourth, Silbam from the B group in fifth, Eric Mata in sixth place. But they have had three lifts. The A group have only had one, and this is Victor Samuelson, 20 kilo jump. Now everyone is over 300 kilos. Great to see such a big crowd here. We have a packed hall here in Tartu, Estonia. Looks good. Well, he got a red for the set from the centre referee. Uh, who said not locked out. No, he was gesturing to his coach as though he was going to scratch his next attempt. He was limping ever so slightly as he left the platform. But maybe I'm misinterpreting the, the gesture that he made. Yeah, there it was. Yeah, there it was. Now, Torben Stromsvik, 320 kilos. Takes a long time to get his mental focus. And then he drives and locks it out. And three, three wide lines. Netherlands. Jacobi, Pape, get ready. 
Bob van den Vogart from the Netherlands is next on 325 kilos. Ball's loaded. 325 kilos, Bob van den Vogart, Netherlands. Now Churovi's coming out. I can't see him in the wings, actually. No. And that's not him whose head I see. No, that's the German lifter. Yeah, I think he's just uh, giving his competitors uh, like the benefit the of the rest they were expecting to have. So thanks once again to, first of all, the Estonian Powerlifting Federation, the East Jutos Dillies, also the EPF... So the rules state that if a lifter puts an attempt in, then we have to run the clock. We have to give them their 60 seconds from bar loaded. And you can scratch the attempt, but it's considered polite to put an attempt in so that the rest of the field aren't rushed and they get their recovery time. Particularly when there's only eight in the group. Yeah. No lift, no lift for Bob. Did not make it to the platform. So we are now loaded to the bar to three. Now we come to the battle for the podium. This will move Jacobi from fourth to second place overall, from fourth to third and deadlift. That looks good. Three wide lines. Now Ben Pape, the same weight, 337.5 kilos. As you predicted, Joe, a 22 and a half kilo jump. I wouldn't be concerned about this. This is no. fairly typical for Ben. And it's still well below his personal best. To be honest, he opened quite light, so big jump on the cards. He did 360 at this competition last year. Yeah, what an evening that was, the 105s. Oh, it's fantastic. Three wide lights. Three wide lights for Pape. Now, Tony Johannesson, Norway. 340 kilos and this to move into third place on the podium ahead of Jacobi and into silver medal position and deadlift Gonna he didn't wait fall for the No, he didn't. He looked as if he was about mm. to, but they have interpreted that as slight downward movement. And it's two reds with blue boxes underneath. I don't think the bar dipped. It went out, but it didn't go down. But it is what it is. Sometimes you have harsh calls, sometimes you get away with stuff. It all goes round and round. Emil Norling, 360 kilos. And if there was any doubt about him winning, this would put him to 8, 9, 5, and 30 kilos ahead with one round remaining. I don't think there's anyone that could catch no. him. Bear in mind, he's, he won't be on his limit at 360. No. No smile, though. Maybe he's beginning to get hard. Yeah, maybe so. Three wide lights. 
I think that was slower than I expected it to move. He he did tell me just before we went out to lift that he had been ill recently, so maybe it's just actually right at your top end, that yes. sort of thing. And there are the results after two rounds in the deadlift. Norlin from Von Hennig and Jacobi with Pape just behind him, body weight. But more importantly, in total, Norlin 895, Pape 865, Jacobi 842.5, Johannesson 827.5. Look at Eric Marta from yeah. the B group clinging on, on his face. 312.5 kilos, Victor Samuelson, Iceland. Samuelson, 45 yeah. seconds. No, I remember Samuelson made that uh, gesture yep. after the second round. And again, I think it's just powerlifting etiquette. He's giving uh, his competitors a break. Might be a good time to thank our main sponsors, Rogue and SBD, who put so much into the sport and without whose help and support, we simply couldn't, couldn't put on events of this magnitude. Absolutely, they sponsor federations, competitions, and athletes. Martin, I've just noticed that Emil's put on uh, 391 for his third. I can't actually imagine him coming out and attempting it. Well, what a finish that would be. Wouldn't it? But the way that 360 moved, I wouldn't say another 30 kilos No, is neither there. would I. There wasn't a smile. No. But if he were to try it and make it, wow. I think it's what he thought he'd probably need to beat Novo Pismeni. Yep. So he might be thinking, let's try it and see if I could have done it. And also, he, he might never have felt that weight in his hands. Why not have a try? And then maybe next year. It'll You're go. getting too like me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Torben Stromsvik, 332.5. Just outside the medals in both. But still, this would give him 795. Just below his best ever total. But so many people have had so many difficulties in the build up and getting here, and that is just too much. Now, Bog van den Bogard. Didn't come out in the second round. Has he had enough or was he just conserving energy for one final attempt? Hard to say because he's not put the same amount back in again. He's gone up to 342 and a half. And I think he's coming out. I can see, see Sil Maris in the doorway. Well, this would put him into silver medal position in the deadlift. With lifters to follow, of course. Interesting to not come out for your second, though. Maybe he was just saving everything for one last hurrah. For a chance of deadlift silver. Bob van der Bogard. No. Brave attempt. And then there were three. The next three guys out, that is Jacobi, Pape and Norlik, are fighting. Sorry, four, but uh, four fighting for three medals. So let's call them one at a time. Tony Johansson is taking 347.5 after missing 340. This will put him into silver medal in deadlift, but more importantly, put him at least temporarily on the podium. Now, you thought he was unlucky with the reds last time. I tended to agree with you. That's better. Oh, that's a fabulous lift, but we wait for the referees. And it's good. Three white lights. Wow, the cat has been put well and truly amongst the pigeons now. Once again, this will 
Because Jacobi was kind of certain of the podium. Now he's got to make this if he wants on the podium. You know what this means though? Ben Pape gets his very first international podium. a great lift and he looks around three, three white lights and he finishes on the podium now Ben Pape 350 kilos he is the silver medalist in the European Championships and this is to pull from fifth to second place in deadlift. Now he's had squat medals before, he's had deadlift medals before. This is his very first overall podium. Great work from him. Again, he's still so calm. I've never seen him get hyped, to be honest. No. Oh, fantastic deadlift from Pape. That's a great way to finish. And again, three wide lights. Fantastic performance. Gives him 877.5. He's coming out for it, Martin. Yeah. He's coming out for it. I can see him in the wings. Emil Norlin is about to take 300 and. 91 kilos for the world 105 deadlift record. The most he's done before on the platform is 380. You know, I don't think he would bother coming out if he didn't think he had a chance no, of it. Absolutely. The crowd are on their feet. And the bar is loaded. And come on, let's hear it, he says. This may have been what he would have had to do to win the title in other circumstances, but now it's to be the world deadlift record holder. He's got it to oh, his knees, but it's not wow, going. not to be. <laughs> But what a fantastic performance by Emil Norling. And he is the champion once again, 2023. And now he knows what 391 feels like. Yep, so next time he'll be ready for it. And there are the results. First of all, in deadlift, Norling takes gold with 360 kilos. Tape takes silver with 350. Jacobi takes bronze with 347 kilos on body weight. And in the totals, Norlin is the champion, 895. Ben Pape, Great Britain, a superb silver medal with 877.5. And Timo Jacobi from Germany takes the bronze, 852.5 on body weight from Tony Johansson, Amengual from Norway. And these four were well clear, creditable mention for Eric Mata and Margot Silvum from the B group for being fifth and sixth respectively. And that is the end of a quite incredible, sensational and dramatic afternoon of powerlifting here in Tartu. Uh, the medal ceremonies will begin in the next couple of minutes, but we won't be commentating them. Please uh, stay with us uh, for the medal ceremonies. There will only be two. They will not last long. And Friday, well, Friday is day five of six. Where has this week gone?
Joe, you, we've got the one you've been looking forward to. Possibly more than any. Class. And the 76. And the 76s, but we have Indy Sing tomorrow, and yeah. I've been looking forward to that for some time. Well, in the morning, 11 o'clock local time, uh, we have the B groups in the women's 76 and the men's 120, and then 3 o'clock in the afternoon, both A groups. And boy, oh boy, should that be fantastic. So we'll say goodbye for this evening and hope you can join us again tomorrow morning.
participation medals, first of all, will be presented by Monsieur Xavier de Poitrac and Mr. Bjorn Astad. Okay, everyone has their uh, presentation medals. So we will now give out the individual medals for squat, first of all. In bronze medal position with 190 kilos from Norway, Marta Chenna. Squat silver with 195 kilos goes to Francis Pauline Lebrard. And squat gold with 200 kilos goes to Great Britain's Annie Nelson. Great job, ladies. Thank you. And now to bench press. In bronze medal position with 120 kilos from France, it is Clara Perrault. Bench press silver with 122.5 kilos goes to Great Britain's Tasmin Campbell. Bench press gold with a new world record of 128 kilos goes to Norway's Marta Chenna! <laughs> well done ladies, thank you. And now to deadlift. In bronze medal position with 225 kilos on body weight, it's Great Britain's Annie Nelson. Deadlift silver, also with 225 kilos. It is Norway's Marta Chenna. Deadlift gold with 237.5 kilos. It's Francis Clara Perro. <laughs> Great job, ladies. Thank you. Which means it is time now to crown the new 69 kilo European champion. In, wow, look how close this was. In bronze medal position with 540 kilos, Great Britain, Annie Nelson. In silver medal position, also with 540 kilos, from France, Clara Perrault. which means that the new 69 kilo open European champion with a total of 543 kilos from Norway, it's Marta Chenna!
So ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthem of Norway. There we go, those guns were loaded after all. If you would rejoin your uh, fellow competitors at the back of the stage, ladies, please join me once again in giving these ladies a huge round of applause as they follow the technical controller from the platform. gentlemen so please join me in giving our uh, 105 kilo men a round of applause once again presentation medals will be presented oh by Bjorn Astad So presentation medals, please. Gustafsson? Weiss. Yeah. So, Bjorn Astad and Joseph Weiss. Present the presentation medals, if you can please, gentlemen. Okay, so it is time to pronounce to uh, award the individual medals first, beginning with squat. 
in bronze medal position with 322.5 kilos from Germany, Timo Jacobi. Squat silver with 327.5 kilos, it's Sweden's Emil Norling. And squat gold with 335 kilos goes to Great Britain's Ben Pate. Well done, boys. Great battle. Thank you. And now to bench press. In bronze medal position with 205 kilos, it's Norway's Torben Strunsvik. Bench press silver with 207.5 kilos goes to Sweden's Emil Norling. And a very special bench press gold of 225 kilos goes to Ukraine's Anatoly Novopismeni. <laughs> so close to that record too. Well done gentlemen, thank you. And now to deadlift. In bronze medal position with 347.5 kilos from Germany, Timo Jacobi. Deadlift silver with 350 kilos, it's Great Britain's Ben Pape. Deadlift gold with 360 kilos. Who else could it be but Sweden's Emil Norling? Yeah. Well done, gentlemen. Thank you. And now to the overall and to crown the new 105 kilo European champion in bronze medal position with 852.5 kilos from Germany, Timo Jacobi. <laughs> Overall silver with 877.5 kilos from Great Britain is Ben Pape. Which means that your new European uh, champion, a 105 kilo class with 895 kilos from Sweden, it's Emil Norling! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthem of Sweden.
Well done, guys. Great battle. An absolute pleasure to witness. If you wouldn't mind rejoining your fellow competitors once more at the back of the stage, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving these amazing lifters a round of applause as they follow the technical controller from the stage.